The leaders of the American left are very confident in who's evil, anyone who opposes them, but they hold themselves to very different standards, maybe not surprisingly. Bernie Sanders, Kamala Harris, and Cory Booker have all stumped for votes at a church, for example, whose pastor says gay people are going to hell. Don't you try that at home. Chief Breaking News correspondent Trace Gallagher has more on this story. Hey, Trace. Tucker, Victory Missionary Baptist Church is just a few miles from the Las Vegas Strip. It's been run by the Reverend Robert E. Fowler for years, and for years, Reverend Fowler's comments have been well documented. If you Google his name on page one, you'll find the Reverend has said repeatedly, being gay is enough to send you to hell. Keep reading and you'll find that Reverend Fowler also believes homosexuality and child molestation are comparable sins. And yet, presidential candidates Kamala Harris and Cory Booker, both staunch supporters of LGBTQ rights, were front and center this week at Sunday services. Last month, Bernie Sanders held a town hall at the church. A California political science professor who's written about LGBTQ rights and religion and politics says, quote, no one is saying that you can't be an LGBTQ rights supporter and also visit houses of worship. But visiting a house of worship where the religious leaders are not supporters is a choice, and it sends a message that those views are not abhorrent. Cory Booker and Bernie Sanders haven't yet addressed the issue, but Kamala Harris' campaign told the San Jose Mercury News that her, quote, support and advocacy for LGBTQ equality has been unwavering throughout her career. She will continue to visit houses of worship across the country to address congregants about the pressing issues we face as a nation. Equality California, an LGBTQ rights group, says the candidate should have used the opportunity to educate the pastor on the importance of supporting the LGBTQ community. Reverend Fowler says the subject never came up. Tucker. Trace Gallagher, thanks.